is a biblical principle. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bia mwenzako unatengenezwa. Na lazima ukubali kutengenezwa. Anasema katika Warumi 12:2 mbili mbili. ya kwamba tusiambatane na kanuni za dunia bali tugeuzwe. Tell your neighbor God is still working on you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Tell your neighbor God is still working on you. And he needs your cooperation. Jambo moja nimejifunza na Mungu ni kwamba Mungu anakupatia, anakufikisha mahali kisha anakupatia uweza wa kufanyika bora because he doesn't want to make a robot Christian. He respects your will power. He then says I've given you a choice to choose between good and bad. Meaning it's a step you make towards perfection. Glory to Jesus. Tell your neighbor be ready to be made. Hallelujah. That's why he says in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12, work out your salvation. Timiza wokovu wako. There is a duty that he has given to you. A duty to be produced so that you are able to produce. Ask your neighbor, have you been produced? Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Salvation is a call to be with God. But before you be with God, he must make you so that you are fit to be with God. I always tell people in the church, there is no way you can be born today. And I read somewhere, na wende binguni na ukae na Paulo. Na mwanze kupiga story. Sasa uta muambia Paulo story gani. Bwana siwe sana. Ana kuambia vila aliteswa, kapigwa mijeledi kama ya Yesu. Na kuambia vila ningangana katika wakora na katika maji. Sasa ukona adithi ya kumuambia. Bwana siwe sana. Na unajua kama hata vitu kama meza ya bwana tutakula binguni. Sasa kama hujajifunza hapa kukula, lazima utafundishwa. Ndio kuna mtu alisema kwamba watu wakiokoka na waende binguni immediately, kuna madarasa huko ya kufundishwa. Wanakufundisha ukovu. They must produce you to be a Christian. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'll draw you to the attention in the book of Esther. Bible says in Esther chapter 2 and verse 7 Ya kwamba Esther alikuwa na uzuri wa kupendeza. Alikuwa na umbo nzuri lakini kabla ya kutana na mfalme ilibidi atengwe kwa miezi kumi na miwili akitengenezwa. Praise the Lord. Mambia jirani yako you are heaven material but you are not yet heaven product. Somebody is not getting me. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Is it verse 2? Chapter 2 verse, verse, verse 7. She had to be set apart and be prepared to be with the king. Yet she had already been appointed to be with the king. But I love something about Esther. Bina sema kwamba alipokuwa ametengwa yeye hakujichagulia kitu chakula alizingatia the diet that she was given let me get there should be chapter 2 chapter 2 and verse uh, verse is it verse verse 17 get us chapter 2 verse 17 chapter 2 verse 17 Praise the Lord Jesus. I have not written it down. Chapter 2 verse 17. Bia jirani yako, you are in the process of being produced. Ask him whether he is ready to be produced or not. 
chapter 2 verse 15 Bible says towards the end she asked for nothing other than what he guy the king Sunak who was in charge of the of the harem suggested tell somebody God has supplied what you need tell somebody God has supplied what you need for you to be produced hallelujah she never asked for anything but she went by what had been provided praise the lord jesus god is in the process of making us because you can only produce who you are a drunkard will produce a drunkard A harlot will produce a harlot. A smoker will produce a smoker. If you are fit for heaven, you will produce one that is fit for heaven. And Jesus told them in Matthew chapter number 4 when he was calling the two disciples, Peter and his brother, he told them, come and follow me. Praise the Lord. And I will make you fishers of men. Ask your neighbor, who are you following? He didn't tell them that come and follow me and you will be fishers of men. No. It is not an automatic process. He told them, come and follow me. And I will make you fishers of men. Tell your neighbor, pastor is teaching. Praise the Lord. And ask him, if you are, being, are you being mad? Are you being mad? I always ask myself so many questions. Mbona Yesu akuambia nifate nitawaumba muwe wa windaji wa watu because wanadamu wanaweza windwa Akawaambia nitawafanya muwe wa vuvi wa watu Praise the Lord Inamaanisha mtenda dhambi ako na tabia kama ya samaki That's why lazima avuliwe kutoka kwa maji kama umeaivua samaki ukitoa nje ya maji na usishike mizuri violini ukweli ama namna gani inateleza inarudi nani one mtenda dhambi ako na, na tabia kama ya samaki that's why hafai kuindwa kwa maswara lazima avuliwe kama samaki na kisha vuliwa Mungu wetu sio Mungu wa samaki ni Mungu wa kondoo Na kwa hivyo kuna hatua ya kutransform samaki ili ije iwe kondo. Hallelujah. Somebody is not getting me. The value of fish at different stages vary. Samaki ambaye amevuliwa size angani na matumbo na scales value yake iko chini. Bwana asifiwe sana. Naambiwa tukienda haisi unaweza pewa mingi kwa pesa kidogo sababu umeenda kwa maji. The value varies. Lakini samaki ambaye amechomwa ndani ya mafuta. Da maana yake ni tofauti. That is why Jesus must take you through the fire of trials and temptations and tests for you to be fried you die as a fish and resurrect as a sheep hallelujah praise the lord ndio sababu hata sisi watu waamini bibi ninatuambia sio sisi tusiamini wa kristo wachanga na uongozi maana wao ni kama samaki 
la kwanza tuwarudishe kwa maji tuwamtumbukize tuambie kama samaki kufa na usiwe irudi kwa imaji katika jina la Yesu alafu afufuke kama kondoo na anza kumfanyia Mungu kazi tell your neighbor there is a making process somebody getting me you cannot be produced you cannot produce if you've not produced haleluya praise jesus Mzee mwenzako value yako unaona ni gani? Ni samaki yenye ngali na scales ama ni yenye imechemshwa kwa mafuta? Na kuna wengi wanaogopa mafuta hapa. Kileta mafuta hapa wanalia. <laughs> Wanaleta shida. Na labda ni mafuta, mafuta ya kukukausha utoke kama kondoo. Kiwa sasa umenyoroka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. There is a making process. Tell your neighbor, submit yourself to the making process. That's why Paul says in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, Ya kwamba ni mekufa na siishi. Anibuliwa kama samaki. Hata ye, that's why magamba inatoka, ilitoka machuwe. Nifike ni samaki. Yani God is using Paul as a classical example ya kuokoka. Inibidi scales zitolewe katika macho yake hatuwe kumtengeneza samaki skele zitolewe ndio kwa sawa bana siwe sana na usipokubali kutengenezwa mara mingi wewe unatuletea shida kanisani praise the lord ajua samaki ili ya survive hapa lazima kuwe na maji kidogo ndio apumue ama namna gani bishop sinabidi <laughs> Bana siwe sana. Is somebody getting me? Na ukiruhusu maji kidogo kanisani. Genuine ship wanagonjeka ugonjwa inaitwa pneumonia. Hata huko kwetu. Yaani subejua lazima ulinda samaki. Hata mi ulinda samaki huko. Nikijua Bwana baada na watengeneza. Matumbo itatolewa na scales zitolewe. Bana siwe sana. Tony Tony is my son violin is my son lakini hao wamekoma wakifanya mchezo lazima ni wanyoroshe na fandiri from very far bila huruma lakini kuna wengine wakifanya makosa nabii naambia wazee wazee wangu elewa bado ni samaki anatengenezwa bwana asifiwe sana lakini wakati wana tunaacha tu maji kidogo kondoo genuine huwa wanagonjeka pneumonia ya kiroho Bwana asifiwe sana. Hata mimi kuna mmoja aligonjeka pneumonia ya kiroho. Kaniambia pastor wewe unabombeleza dhambi. <laughs> give Jesus a good clap. Tell somebody, give yourself to the making process. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Mwambie kubali kutengenezwa. Lakini watu wengi hawakubali kutengenezwa. Watu wanataka kutengeneza lakini hawakubali kutengenezwa. Wacha nitajetaje wakati anapita. Uh, Matthew chapter 12 verse 35. Matthew chapter 12 verse 35. Bible says make a tree good and the fruit. Did I say 35 or 39? Praise the Lord. 35 is it's not 35. Ebu rudi 34 then. Bible says make a tree good and the fruit shall be good. Make a tree bad and the fruit shall be bad. Hallelujah. Maana mti ujulikana kwa matunda yake. Meaning God expects you to be made and the process of making is a continuous process praise the lord that you may yield a fruit out of you bana asifiwe sana na ni kama vile I feel this message is blessing my heart. 
ili we uzae tunda la upendo Mungu atakupatia tunda la upendo huwa analeta condition ya kutoa upendo ndani mwako hiyo process ndio kukutengeneza maana wewe lazima uzae haleluya lakini watu wengi wamefika hata menopause ndani ya kanisa bwana asifiwe sana na pia kama kanisa bishop mmeja wewe ni babangu wa kiroho i used to call you by your first name right now i must call you bishop apostle bernard lakini tukiwa shule nilikuwa namuitanga ben ben ni aje <laughs> Hallelujah. Kama kanisa umejua pia tunaweza fika menopause. Na tuache kuzaa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ndio mwezako mimi sifiki menopause saizi. Lazima nisae. Punda litoke. Praise the Lord Jesus. Bible says, let me quote. Let me give you three points on how you are made so that you can produce number one, you are made by the word mimi zako unatengenezwa na neno the word of god makes you are you have a generation bishop ambayo wao na neno la mungu ni maadui kabisa Bwana asifiwe sana. Atukimpatia kufundisha hapa utakuta na ngangana. Kama alikuwa maandiko kitabu ya Jude utakuta naenda kwa table of content. Ni yakuwa naambiwa shirika la Sunday. Lakini kuna maeneo kienda wa excel sana. Kama saa hizi kuna World Cup. <laughs> utakuta timu ni ngapi? Timu za World Cup ni ngapi? At least wengine wanajua lakini wanajifanya wataye kusema zote ziko hapa Bwana asifiwe sana na wanajua namba ya kila mtu ile anacheza na kocha asipochezesha huyo mtu kwanza wanaanza kuuliza mbona huyo kocha anatuangusha they have the whole of it here but the word of god is missing this is a very serious point Bwana asifiwe sana Muslims defeat us because they know their Quran and know our Bible more than Christians. Tell your neighbor pastor came to teach. That's why you cannot win a Muslim easily. He will win you. It is not easy to win a Jehovah witness. It is not easy to win an SDA. They know the word but my christians praise the lord wa kristo wangu hawalijui neno you are prepared by the word i get so much challenged unaweza kuta mpendo amenunulia mtoto kiatu cha shilingi 500 lakini hana kiatu cha shilingi 2000 lakini hajamnunulia biblia Hallelujah. Yet the word is our foundation. Jesus says in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 25 Paul writes Ephesians 5:25 to 26 telling them that husbands love husbands love your wives Just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her verse 26 that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word praise the lord you are washed to the extent you know the word of god You are washed to the extent you put the word of God in your heart. You can measure and know that is how you wash yourself. There are things you cannot explain with words. Science cannot explain. Wewe mama mama my friend na nini? 
Pastor Pastor Lawrence wewe utumia sabuni lakini unajua kwa sabuni utoa madoa haja kwa, kwa, kwa nguo you don't know what soap is to that that is what the word of god is to you you are cleansed by the word praise god sanctify them by by truth your word is truth the church has to go back to the foundations of the word of god why is the church swayed and it lacks it lacks a stand because they were never washed by the word pia jirani yako vile na kuangalia naona wewe ni kama samaki ungali na 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 makamasi kamasi vile na kuchunguza vizuri sumwambie bwana asifiwe sana maana hujasafishwa kwa maji ambayo ni neno we are defeated because we don't have the word the word of god is not just for enjoyment and hallelujah this word is a sword of the spirit when you speak the word of god you are releasing the sword of god against your adversaries hallelujah and there is nothing that devil can withstand more than the word of god tell yourself i will read the word of god number 2 how are you made you are made by the spirit of god second corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 utatengenezwa kabla ya kutengenezwa lazima utengenezwe na roho wa Mungu na kama roho haja kutengeneza ukijaribu kutengeneza mtu utatengenezwa uliza watoto wasikeva praise the lord hallelujah number three. we are made through the fellowship of believers Tell yourself tell somebody we are talking about being produced to produce Mwambie mtu we are talking about being produced to produce Hallelujah You must have fertility for you to produce Fellowship Hebrews 10:24 to 25 We are spared up in fellowship There is some magic that is in fellowship that we cannot explain. Hallelujah. Amara mingi mimi utumia hiyo mfano. It's a very common example. Ukitoa makandani ya jiko, hata ikuwe na moto na uiweke hapa. Itazima. Because it is not being spared up. Bible says, let us consider one another in order to stir another version says to spur up we are produced by fellowship i pray in jesus name may the spirit to embrace fellowship be over your life that you may be spurred up to produce every good works hallelujah praise the lord let us go back to our text bishop gave me second timothy chapter 2 and verse 2 but i start from verse 1 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 1 ask your neighbor have you given yourself to be met bible says in verse 1 you therefore my son Kwa kila mtoto 
kuna mzazi. Hallelujah. I'm my biological parent and also have my spiritual. Anamwita my son. Kumaanisha kwamba alimzaa yeye. Siwezi nikamwita huyu my son kama sijamzaa. Anaisi kama mimi ni mchungaji wake. Paul knew the pedigree in Timothy that is why anamwita my son maana anamjua hallelujah ask your neighbor who is your father who produced you to produce bwana asifiwe sana hallelujah Ejua, nikiwa mtoto wako nimebeba chembe chembe zako ndani mwangu nikiwa mtoto wako niko na sura yako i'm talking about being produced to produce nikiwa mtoto wako nimekuzaa nimekulea na kujua kama baba praise the lord jesus Ask your neighbor is your father. It is possible if 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 you are not rightly produced to become sterile and barren. Hallelujah. If your pedigree is not known, is somebody getting me? Is somebody getting me? Kuna mnyama huitwa mule. Nani anajua mule? Mule ni mix ya nini na nini? Ya punda na na farasi. Na mule huzaa. Mule afai namna gani? Hazai. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na kwa hivyo, if your pedigree is compromised, if your lineage is compromised, you cannot give birth. I'm speaking weightier things. I don't know whether somebody is getting me. Is somebody getting me? Tell your neighbor if your lineage is compromised, you can't produce. Tell your neighbor if your lineage is compromised, you can't produce. Praise the Lord Jesus. For you to be able to produce effectively, you must have a father that holds your hand. I've moved around and the challenge with the church we don't have a father in our lives there are people who have 10 fathers there are people who have 20 fathers i told you i came to teach we had a function and we told people to write questions And from the questions people are writing, I knew people have over 10 fathers, me being one of them. Praise the Lord. And they were asking, pastor is paying tithe right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They were asking me, pastor, is is wedding biblical? They were asking me is speaking in tongues right i knew somebody has more than one father praise the lord jesus hallelujah and you find if you are mixed up your lineage is not right you cannot produce because your spirit is mixed up hallelujah praise the lord so that you find there are people in church they'll tell you i agree with the church up to this point the people in church they'll tell you i agree with the praise and worship i agree with the testimonies but i don't, I don't agree with the typing their lineage is compromised praise the lord hallelujah Tell your neighbor neighbor 
I pray in Jesus name that your faith shall stand because you are a son. He continues to say, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Producing is not about strategy. It is not about prayer. Prayer is important. Strategy is important. But it's about the grace of God. Hallelujah. You sing not because you have a good voice. There are people who have good voices and they have lost them. It is by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. You produce not because you are married. There are people married and their wombs are closed up. They don't have babies. It is by the grace of God. You serve in church not because you are good. There are people who wish to serve. But they find it difficult. It is by the grace of God. I pray for the grace of God to abound in your life. In Jesus name. He says. Verse, verse 2. And the things that you have heard. Ask yourself what are you hearing? Kuna watu wamejaza sauti ndani ya maisha yao. I think it was last Sunday or the other Sunday. Nikuwa nafundisha nikiwambia watu mungu wanatamani kunena na sisi. But shida mwanadamu wako busy. Hapa hivi unasikiza pasta kiubiri of course anaiza nena kupitia pasta. Ukitoka hapa hivi umeeka ka headphone kadogo hapa. Ukifika kwa nyumba unaeka hufa. Ukimaliza mba kunaeka mziki ukienda kulala. When do you have quality time with God to speak to you? Because God speaks. He says in Job 33 from verse 13, I speak in visions, in dreams, in loud voices that I may warn you. Hallelujah. The things that you have heard. Sauti. Sinaweza kuwa mingi hadi uchanganyikiwe iwapo una msimamo if you are not a son praise the lord jesus bible says from me among many witnesses commit this to faithful men wanadamu wote si waaminifu jamani hata kanisani not all men are faithful Praise the Lord. Wa unajua nani mwaminifu wakati shida imekupata. Kuna ingine wanaeka vyombo chini na wanatoroka. Bibini na waita hired hands ama higher links. Hallelujah. The Bible says commit to faithful men. Ask your neighbor, are you a faithful man? Mulize, are you a faithful man? Bwana sifuwe sana. Ama, are you a faithful boy? Mulize, are you a faithful boy? Because there is a point there. Men will always pass over. Boys will hang on it. I bought my, my son siku moja. Hata siyo, siyo siku moja. Jana, tukikuja. Kwa gari ni mnunulia juice na kanifunza lesson. Nilifanya makosa ni kakunyo yake. Alikasirika, akakata kuichukua. Gulo ukweli ya mawongo. Boys don't pass over. Boys stick on it. As somebody you pass over, buwana sifuwe sana. Mulize mtu napitisha muna kwa milia. He says faithful men who have accepted to mature
show up. Bible says in the book of in book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, and he appointed some as evangelists, others as teachers, others as prophets, others as apostles, fivefold ministries, that they may prepare saints for the work of service, that the body of Christ may be built to attain maturity in faith and unity. Praise the Lord. Men are those who submit and are matured, ready to give. Give Jesus a good clap. Is somebody being blessed? Tell your neighbor, no, not all men are reliable. Mwambie mbonu na ogopa, kwa niwe hako reliable. Kwa nasiwe sana. Mwambie, not all men are reliable. Mwambie, hata nikikuona wewe, kuna wakati mengine wewe si reliable. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a good clap. Your ability to produce depends on your maturity. That is why Paul, that's what Paul is saying. Committed to men. And men are mature people. Wana sifuwe sana. Unless kama ni watu wazima wa memeza tembe za kutoza. Ya pia kuna watu wazima wa memeza tembe za kutoza. Na wezi wakaza. Wana sifuwe sana. Hata kuna tembe za kutoza za kiroho. Zinaitua selfishness. Yani wewe kitu konacho ni chako. Yo ndio tembe ya kutufana mna gani? Wewe ni mwanaume lakini? Hauzai. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to mention a few things as I pass uh, through. Maturity does not depend on years you have spent in salvation. It doesn't. Pia kuna wakati, kuna mali niligurua ambapo. Kama kuna mtu alikuwa mzee kwako, haunge nena mambo ya mungu mbele zake. Angikupia historia. Hakuambia tumefanya iki kitu kwa miaka mingi sana. Lakini ukimpima against the word, they are two different people. Maturity is determined by how you rightfully apply the precepts, the word of God. Hallelujah. You can get a two years old or even a one year old. Ambaya to me a neno la munku inabio pasa ataza. Lakini wa miya kakumi. Asia to me a neno la munku inabio pasa. How is ya kaza? Buana sfia sana. Naske niki barikiwa pale maali. Bibina sema kwamba. Neno la mungu ni taa katika migu zetu. Na ni, ni muanga katika njia yetu. That is Psalms 105 verse. Is it verse 119? 119, 105. Praise the Lord. The word of God is a lamp to my feet. And a light to my path. I want to bring you more home. Bina sema katika macho kwamba. Macho ni taa ya mwili. Let me get it for you. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor the eyes are the lamp to the body. Matthew chapter 6 verse 22 to 23. Macho ni taya mwili. Na bina sema kwamba neno na mungu ni taa kwa miku yangu. Na mwanga kwa njia yangu. It means as a Christian, if you don't have the word of God, then you're walking in darkness. And there is no way you can produce. Let me bring you more home. Ebukuja. These are two vehicles. David Kuja. Akagari ni kadogo, kanaitua tuktuku. Lakini kakona headlamps mpia nzuri sana. I told you I came to do what? 
to teach. Headlamps nzuri. Na hii gari inaitwa Mercedes Benz Class C200. Lakini taa zake ziko blood. Sikimulika zinaona hapa. I want to tell you the difference will be known at night. The tuk-tuk will overtake me whether I like it or not. With my speedometer of 260, the tuk-tuk will overtake me. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor it's not about the years. It is the rightful application. Hallelujah. Is somebody getting me? If I must succeed at night, I must put the tuk-tuk in front of me for me to follow. Hallelujah. But more often than not, the driver of the Mercedes-Benz will harass the tuk-tuk driver. Doing that, you tuk-tuk, I mean, 50. Doing 50. If he pulls on the side and I go in front, I'll slow down to 10 and force the tuk-tuk to go back to 10. Tell your neighbor, pastor says he's teaching. Praise the Lord. If I must move at 50, the tuk-tuk must be ahead because the eyes are the light of the body. Hallelujah. I'm moving towards a point. Tell your neighbor, don't worry with the weather is harassing you behind. Man, be tena, don't worry with the weather is harassing you behind. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are 20 years Christians. There are but it must depend on a one month Christian. The difference is the eyes. How far can the eyes see? Hallelujah. If I were the tuk tuk man, I'll drive on. I'll drive on. Not every criticism needs an answer. Some criticism needs you to speed up because you are pulling them closer to Jesus. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Give Jesus a good clap. I want to give two reasons. I'm rushing through so that I finish on time. Two reasons why you must produce. After being made, two reasons why you must produce. Number one, Luke chapter 13, verse 6 to 9. Luke chapter 13, verse 6 to 9. Bible says, he also spoke this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. Let us read together. Are you able to see the screen? Let us read together. And he came seeking fruit on it and found none. Tell your neighbor found none. Next verse. Then he said to the keeper of his vineyard, look for three years I've come seeking fruit on this tree and find none. Cut it down. I don't know whether somebody is getting those words. Anything written in the Bible was written for you that you may learn. Jesus never wasted his time speaking about the fig tree and have it recorded, inspired by the Spirit of God if he didn't want us to learn from it. He says, cut it down. What does, why does it use up the ground. I pray today that there is nobody here who is using up a ground given to them by God and not producing in the name of Jesus. But he answered and said to him, Sir, 
Let it alone this year also until I dig around it and fertilize it. Tell your neighbor you come to be fertilized. We come to church to be fertilized. We don't bear fruits in the church. We bear fruit in the field. Jesus said that the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. We come here to be fueled, to be fertilized, to be watered, that we may go and bear a fruit that is lasting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But many times, people imagine this is where we bear fruit. We don't bear fruit in church. We come here to be equipped. This is a garage. Vehicles don't run in a garage. They put bushes on it, but it's not meant for the garage. The word we are preaching for you it is not meant for the church. It is meant for the dying world. Praise the Lord. He says, let us add it to one year. One plus three is four. God gives us a grace period that we may bear fruit. How many of us are four years and old in salvation? Wangapi wa mezeka, miaka mine na zaidi. Najua bishop ya mezeka. Najua na weo mwingine. Wangapi wa jafikisha miaka nine katika wakovu? Ni moja peke yake. Ye ndi angani chini ya neema. Lakini the rest of us, we must have a fruit. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor na ona ni kama grace period ilisha. Number one, we must bear fruit because God has given us a grace period. Na nasema kwamba usipoza ye huja na kukata katika yowana kumnatano. Na hapa metuambia na kata bada miaka ngapi? Miaka mingapi hapa? Miaka mine. Number two, because your produce is stored up in a safe or an account in heaven. You must bear fruit because you have an account in heaven. Philippians chapter 4 verse 17. Bible says Philippians chapter 4 verse 17. Not that I seek the gift but I seek the fruit that may abound on your account. Praise the Lord. Do you know that you have an account in heaven? Do you know you have an account in heaven? Do you know you have an account in heaven? Buenas sana. Jesus gave you one of the keys to the account in heaven. And he holds the other key. You can only withdraw from your account in heaven if you have deposited there something. If you've not deposited there something, there is nothing you can withdraw. Paul says, I'm doing this that it may be accredited to your account in heaven. And sincerely speaking, there are some of us whose accounts in heaven are reading negative. To me withdraw mba kaisha. Bwana siwe sana. Matthew chapter number Matthew chapter number 25 and verse 19. There is an account that any time you do good, it is deposited there. Bible says after a long time the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. Tell your neighbor you must bear fruit because God is coming to settle an account. 
to your neighbor, tell him God is coming to settle an account. Praise the Lord. It is my prayer as he comes. Let there be a deposit in your account in heaven. So you can only produce and deposit there if you are working with God. Give Jesus a good clap. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 13. Why must you produce? Because you have got an account. Whatever you are producing is being stored up. Bible says, each one's work will become clear for the day will declare it because it will be revealed by fire. Now this makes the conclusion of everything. Whatever you deposit in your account in heaven shall be tested by fire. Praise the Lord. It is good to know that whatever you are depositing there, whatever you are producing shall be tested by fire. Make every effort to deposit that which shall last when it goes through fire in heaven in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Number three. You must produce because you are a sheep. Lazima uzae sababu we ni kondo. Wana sifio sana. Mukulima ufuga kondo sababu ya kama sababu tatu ama ne. Sababu ya kwanza, mukulima ufuga kondo ili wazane na waongezeke. Do you know why Christianity is shrinking so much? Praise the Lord. Because Christians are not giving birth. You can only give birth to yourself. God calls you my sheep. In, in the book of Psalms chapter 100 and verse 3. You are the sheep of my pasture. Because he wants you to reproduce. You are kind. Hallelujah. Bwana sifuwe sana. Akikuja akuchunguze. Akute kwamba kuna mimba. Unaza. Na sija waiona. Kondo wakiu wakike. Akiza bila usiano na kondo wa ndume. Wa kiume. I've never seen. You need to be connected to Jesus. Our husband. Before you give birth. Hallelujah. If you are disconnected to Jesus. You cannot give birth. And if you give birth. You will not give birth to what belongs to Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus says. In the book of John chapter number 15. Mimi ni msabibu wa kweli. Ba, na baba yangu ni, ni mkulima. Na kila tawi. Linalo unganika kwangu. Litaza. Bwana sifuwe sana. Uliza mtu umeunganika na yesu. Bwana sifuwe sana. One of the reasons we are not bearing fruit. Is because we are not connected to Jesus. Many people are connected to the church. But not Jesus. If you are to test your DNA, we'll find the DNA of a church goer, but not the DNA of a child of God. You cannot bear unless you are connected to Jesus. Today I pray in Jesus' name. If you are not connected to Jesus, get your connection tonight. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Number two. Mukulima anafuka kondo sababu ya manyoa yake. Hallelujah. Bwana sifuwe sana. Before I get there, I think I need to mention this. Kama yesu angelikuwa saizi, 
uh, kama hii ndio ingekuwa era ya Yesu size ameleta neema there is a possibility Yesu angekuwa na ubiri kwa mtandao Facebook ukweli ama uongo ukweli ama uongo kingekuwa tungekuwa na Jesus channel kwenye Facebook ama namna gani na ongea kuhusu kuzalisha si namna hivyo hata Instagram kungekuwa na Jesus at Jesus hata Twitter Jesus alafu na trend leo ameponya na na trend Bwana asifiwe sana Nani angependa ku like post ya Yesu angekuwa kwenye mtandao Wewe oh, ungependa ku like Nani angelipenda ku share post ya Yesu Yaani ungelipenda u share mwingine aone akuja aone imani no mazuri ya Yesu Nani wanajiuliza mbona watoto ndani ya kanisa wakati pasta nani ndanga si anahubiri mbona hawezi wakashare haleluya how is you are like god has given us these tools that we may use them to produce a fruit that is lasting wakati mwingine wanachunguza status ya watoto wangu kanisani unaweza kuta ame post pale ronaldo amechapa ka kitu ka juu anasema vitu kama hizo ndio tunataka haleluya lakini siku moja ame post scripture ambaye imemuhimiza haipo haleluya tell your neighbor give birth mwambie jirani yako give birth because you are a sheep number 2 mkulima ufuga kondo sababu ya manyoya yake na nikija kwa njia nilikuwa nasikia Mungu akihudumia moyo wangu. Watoto walikuwa naniuliza, "Hiyo kondoo gani nawaambia Merino tukikuja around band 4 Timborua tu uh, uh, Timborua tukikuja huku mbele." Wakaniuliza, "Na mbona iko na manyoa mingi?" Nikamwambia, "Hiyo manyoa ikwangi hivyo kila siku. Kuna wakati wa inanyolewa." Praise the Lord. Na yule kijana akaniuliza haraka, "Na kama yezi nyolewa itakuwa na nini?" Nikamwambia, "Itabeba viroboto." Maana sisi tunafuga mbwa. Kambi na beba itabeba viroboto na wanajua viroboto. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kiroboto iko na tabia mbaya kama hujai umwa na hiyo kitu. Hiyo kitu kanaingia ndani ya ngozi. Nani ameishikiliwa na kiroboto mzuri? Wakati Mungu aliachilia hiyo vitu Misri, alijua ni hatari. Kana kuuma kanaanza kuingia ndani ya ngozi. Na naambiwa kanaingia kanaunda dudu. Nazo unakuta mbwa wako na wadudu na finya watoke. Bwana asifiwe sana. Na wewe kama kondoo lazima nywele yako inyolewe. If your wool is not shaved, very soon utakuwa na chawa ndani mwako. Is somebody getting me? Hallelujah. Na ukiwa na chawa, you are uncomfortable. Kabisa. Mtu ambaye ako na chawa kwa unsettled. Bishop, nikiwa na chawa hapa utajua tu kama nimekaa hapa kwa unaona na chikuna namna hivi ni consented haleluya when you meet somebody anakuambia kwamba siku hizi mimi hata sikiangi kukaa kanisa mwambie enda unyolewe ni chawa zinakusumbua wewe ni chawa haleluya ni chawa zinakusumbua hey, i've learned from experience You know the Bible says I know you know what I'm talking about. Ni vile mnajifanya mjui. Mwambie jirani yako unajua kile pastor anaongelea na amekuja kufundisha leo katika jina la Yesu. Bible says where your treasure is there your heart is. I've come to confirm it's only church members that support the work of God. The work of God who has committed who are committed to church. Hallelujah. Hata mimi mimi niko na washirika mshirika akitoa kanisa mimi nafuata mpaka aingie kanisani akija Nairobi nafuata bishop shika hii namba lazima uende kanisani standard of living church bwana asifiwe sana na wale pia mnatoka hapa Bungoma sababu mimi ni mchungaji hapa mnakuja kwa kwetu jamani ukienda nyumbani jamani mwambie jirani yako mbie jirani yako naenda kuna shiriki huko 
Usikutane tu na pastor kwa conference. Kuna wenye nimekutana nao kwa conference nikaji introduce mimi ni pastor Govedi, pastor of the Standard of Living Church. Alafu anakuja, "Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah." Even members who follow me and call me are members who support the work of God. Nywele zao, their wool is shaved. We sell it to buy more fields. Their wool is always shaved. Ukiangalia ndani hakuna chawa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. I'm speaking deep things. I don't know whether anybody is getting it. The more your wool extends bila kunyolewa. Naongea kuhusu producing are being produced to produce. Iwapo nywele yako haitanyolewa. Hizo chawa zikiingia ndani zitaunda wadudu hata kutembea ni ngumu. Inabidi ukae nyumbani. Sasa zimekuuma umekuwa unsettled zimeingia ndani ya ngozi zimeunda dudu kutembea ni ngumu you want to come to church praise the lord i'm speaking this because even people who don't know god have benefited out of biblical principles when the sons of god are walking on feet slaves are riding horses This is a very clear example. And I came to preach. Bishop, Bishop never told me what to say. Tony never told me. Bailin never told me. Millie never told me. But I had the spirit of God ministering to my heart. If you are here and you are saying Bishop called Pastor Govedi kuja kutusomea pole sana. I feel the spirit of God is ministering to me. Wana sikia sana. We are poor in church. Because our treasure is not in church. We don't treasure church. I'm not speaking about this church. I'm even speaking to whoever is watching on me on Facebook. Our treasure is somewhere. That's where our allegiance is not to God. I live the life of struggling as a pastor. Let me tell you. But when God opened my eyes and I gave my body to be shaved any pastor who comes to preach in our church we must bless him with our with a ship that is our standard praise the lord you come to preach we must bless you I'm not saying what i don't do Even when bishop came there the other Sunday we took the whole offering and gave the whole basket two folds and gave to him we were shaved and we remained without a basket to put an offering I want to tell you as a pastor and as a church we are blessed I've received cows on that altar I'm not talking about things I saw in television I have received goats on the altar. I have received hens and money on the altar. You must subject your hair, your wool to be shaved. God cannot be mocked. I pray one day bishop we finish the service and say We want to put up a serious headquarter. God has brought us this far. Thank God. But we want to put up a serious headquarter. Where we can come and even sleep in rooms and pray for one week and go back home. Why do other churches have serious headquarters? Why are other churches expanding? Hallelujah. People have yielded themselves to be shaved. I tithe every month, trophies. 
I don't touch church money, but I've instructed the treasurer and the secretary every month they must write a check and deposit to go to bishop. We've allowed as a church to be shaved. Whether it is 500 shillings, whether it is what, I even, I even don't, they, they just bring the checkbook, I sign. I've instructed them. You are a sheep. Your wool must be shaved and sold for the benefit of the ministry. Amen. As pastors, I feel, I feel sometimes tired. We pay rent for people. We do what for people? Oh God. Why can't God bless them? And some of these people are the ones who come, I'm sorry to say, when they are worshiping, they don't even give an offering in church. They don't give tithe. Even if it is 10 shillings, give to God one shilling. He knows you had 10 shillings. You've yielded your, your wool to be shaved. No fleece will hide in your wool. You will be fresh. It will always grow. And will always supply. You can never lack. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. People like praying it. Get us there. Philippians 4 verse 19. Before you pray that verse, I want to give you a verse you pray. And my God, and they quote very well, shall supply all your needs. And they personalize it. And my God shall supply mine is according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Come on. Before you pray it, take us to verse 17. Bible says, Know that I seek the gift. But I seek the fruit that abounds to your account. Before you ask him to supply, what have you deposited? Before you write your blank check, what have you deposited? He says, he shall supply. But after it has been accredited to your account. Our God is an accountant. He's a businessman. He's not at losses. And Paul says, not that I seek the gift. The people have misquoted us and misunderstood us as pastors that we want your money. No. Praise God. We want it to be accredited your account. Paul told the church in Corinth, should be chapter chapter number 11. I'm almost winding up. <clears throat> Let me get it. Should be 1 Corinthians chapter number 11. I don't know. Verse 8. 1 Corinthians 11, 8. Tell your neighbor pastor came to teach. I don't know whether you are benefiting. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What does the Bible say? Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians, sorry. Bible says, for I robbed. Second Corinthians 11, 8. I robbed other churches, taking wages to them to minister to you. God sent me with the two points. I don't go anywhere with my own mind. God sent me to tell you to work on the expansion of the church membership. God told me to tell you, number two, to stand with his work. Paul tells the church in Corinth, I robbed other churches. I'll thank God that day when a member will come and ask, Bishop, where did you get money to buy this? Come and say, Bishop, 
you brought speakers. Where did you get money? Bishop, you brought stands. Where did you get money? Even pastors rob their own children. Food to serve the church. Because of them called. God didn't call me, he called the pastor. He's the vision bearer. Let him know how it will work out. Praise the Lord. Even pastors rob, I'm almost finishing, rob their own children food to feed the widows and orphans in the church. It is not the work of a pastor. The apostle said, we cannot leave the ministry. A pastor has two ministry. Prayer and word to attend to tables. The reason our churches are not expanding at the speed they should is because pastors are attending to tables and not the ministry of word and prayer. Get it for us. Uh, it's, it should be in Acts chapter 7 when they were appointing the, the, the deacons. The reason there are no miracles in our churches and this one is heavy on my heart is because the, the pastor is worried about the material being of the church and members more than the spiritual being of the church. That's why we pastor people when they leave church, they go to Agangas to seek for help. They come to church as a member, but they go to Agangas to seek help because the sheep have not produced. Praise the Lord. It is such a blessing when you come to minister as a pastor, I've seen it work. I've seen it, some, I've seen it where I pastor sometime. And you find there are new things in church. You never initiated. There are new things you never bought. It blesses your heart and you go home crying. Hallelujah. It can be very powerful if the praise and worship, I'm talking about being produced to produce, can say every month we'll be buying one stand. One stand is about 3,000. We'll be buying one stand. How many are we? We are 30 in number. Every Sunday, 3,000 divided by 30 is 100 shillings. Every Sunday, bring 25 shillings and they bring a stand in church. It can be very powerful if mamas can say, we want to buy this in church. And even they do it without the knowledge of the pastor. You will start seeing miracles. Barren wombs will start opening. Praise the Lord. Sometimes as pastors, we sit down and ask ourselves, are we in this thing alone? Or we are with the people? Are we in it alone? But when, when we know we are in with you, we stop thinking about physical things and think about ministry of the word and prayer. Give Jesus a good clap. The last one I want to mention, a farmer keeps the sheep because of the skin and the meat. Either to sell it, it be slaughtered. Or slaughter it by themselves. Jesus had disciples. But 
He had more disciples after his departure than the ones he had when he was still on earth. Praise the Lord. It is my prayer when you leave this earth, many people come to Jesus. I put this point here deliberately because I met somebody who told me, I cannot go to church. I asked her why. And she told me, I never knew my husband had another wife, yet he was a deacon in church. In their death, they drove men from God. I pray God should bring Elisha in church. That when you die, your bones. Is it first Corinthians, first Kings or Second Kings? Second Kings chapter 13, verse 30, verse 20. Second Kings 13, 20. That they are bones. When you live, when you live here and you are and you are promoted, people will say, I came to church because I saw that man. I'm holding on the church because of that man. His bones. Songa mpaka useme mahali ambapo mifupa ilifufua. Next verse, songa tivo. Yeah. Suddenly they spied. Bible says, the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha and he revived. I pray that your anointing shall not just last here, but even you will reproduce when you are not here. Hallelujah. In Bungoma, we miss Tony so much. It's only that I respect Bishop. But he, uh, we had planned to go to Nalipia affair. He was, he's such a big asset to us. When we, when we began, we were about four people. Mimi, Tony, and another media, Brian. We were about four or five people when he began the church in Bungoma. And he was our praise and worship leader. Mnampatia Mike and Naimba. Buana Sue Sana. He used to lead us in praise and worship. In his absence, we feel it. Raise up your hand and say my anointing. Lift up your hand and say my anointing. Shall do a miracle even when I'm long gone. Praise the Lord. I hear of testimonies which touch my heart. I like reading about the generals. I read about Catherine Kuhlman. The writer says, when she died in the hospital, the nurse was attending to her. She was in the high uh, dependent unit. Came and began looking for rose flowers around. Because there was a smell of rose flower in that ward. And she began asking, who's, who sprayed this place? This award, who sprayed it with the roses? Angels had come to minister to her in her death. Praise the Lord. I pray angels will minister to you even when you are long gone. I've witnessed people who die. Baka wanafungwa mdomo. Badala ya kuita mungu wananza kuita oh sui ni 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 ni. Wanafungwa mdomo. I've had people who have told me come and pray for us. My dead mother and aninyonga. I pray your anointing will go beyond. And when you get to heaven Jesus will say as he pats your back well done faithful servant. You did it for me. Bible says to those who a lot is given, much is expected from them. Praise the Lord. Let us be on our feet. In Jesus' name. 
being produced to produce. When the praise and worship to come, lift up your hands and tell God to help you to produce. Lift up your hands. Tell God help me to produce. In the name of Jesus. Help me to connect with you. Help me father to bear a fruit that can last. Help me God. It's possible you are here and you are obese. You don't give. You don't produce. You've never witnessed to anybody. You can tell God by the help of your spirit. I pray today lead me to a soul that is ready to receive you at my place of work. Lead me to a soul. There are people here. People don't know that you are born again at your place of work. They don't know. They don't know. Your neighbors don't know you are born again. Your workmates don't know you are born again. You can tell the Lord, help me. Lead me to a soul. Bible says in Psalms 2 verse 8, I standardly give you nations as your inheritance and the ends of the earth as your possession. Ask the Lord that you may bear fruit. When you go to heaven, you can say like Paul, this is my treasure. This is my joy. This is the crown of my rejoicing. In Jesus name. There are people who need to ask God to forgive them. For robbing God in tithe and in offerings. For robbing God in tithe and in offerings. God is intentional. She so wants him to rebuke your divorce. Yes. He has the power. He has the power. He has the key to open the safe in heaven and release a blessing in your life. But there is nothing that you have deposited there. You are saying you will tithe when you have enough money. You will support church when you have enough money. You will work out on church projects when you have enough money. You can tithe out of 100 shillings. It is difficult to tithe out of a million. I can tell you for a fact. Tell God to help you. In Jesus name. Why don't you open your mouth? Tell God help me to produce. Heal my barrenness. Heal my barrenness. Heal my sterility. And mature me. In the name of Jesus. Just lift up your hands and talk to God. Lifting up hands is a sign of worship. Oh God. You are all that matters. Oh God. Lord, I desire to give a fruit. You are all that matters. You matter. You matter, God. You are all that matters. Oh God.
Oh Jesus. I'll make room for two. Oh Lord. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You matter. Jesus. You are all that matters. I'll put you. I'll put you in front. In front of my melody. You are all that matters, Jesus. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters, Jesus. You are all that matters. I'll put you in front. I'll put you in front. I'll put you in front of my Jesus. Front of my belly, you are all that matters. Worship the Lord, you are all that matters. I make room for two. I make room for two. Oh, you and I, Jesus, you are all that matters. Jesus, you are all that matters. We sing to you. Oh, hey, oh, hey. You are all that matter. Oh, hey, oh, hey. we sing to you. You, you are, are all that matter. Oh, oh, hey, oh hey. You, you are all that matter. solution today and it will bite kuna watu ambao wanataka kufanya uamuzi leo ya kusaa wanachua ni matasa wanachua unachua we ni tasa hausai and i feel in my spirit i feel in my spirit There are people who want to make a commitment in the area of standing with the work of God in enlarging the church and in supporting the church. I want you to come to the front in Jesus name. You are saying I want to go into evangelism and I want my goal from today every struggle I've not been faithful in tithing and in giving and in supporting the work of God but today I want God to help me I want you to come to the front I feel it in my spirit you've been struggling you can't you can't witness to a soul and you are saying it I feel in my spirit you can come to the front there is grace for you in Jesus name I repeat it for the last time you feel in your heart you need grace for the enlargement of the church in evangelism giving birth and in supporting the work of God you don't know why God is ministering to me there are people who live here and they get jobs you don't know. There are people who have been struggling with finances. They live here and they step. I don't want to coerce you, but I feel it in my spirit. I feel it in my spirit. You are saying I've not been faithful. But I want to produce in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Do you know that will be judged our 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 works will be judged by fire. Will they survive? There is grace here. The pool has been tired here. Angels minister to us. And the pool has been tired. You can step in. 
and you step into grace that will work out in your life in Jesus name lift up your hands I want to invite the father of this ministry Zion anointing than me to come and pray and finalize I see praise for the sick in Jesus name What to love for if you take the Holy Ghost? What will I give if you take the Holy Ghost? What will love become of me if I didn't see your life? What will have been said of me? If you didn't hold my hand, now I've come to realize that you are all I want. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I put you in front. Come on, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I make room for two. I make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I put you in. I put you in front. Front of my melody, you are all that matters. Jesus, you are all that matters. I'll make room for two. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus, you are all that matters. Therefore, we tell you, raise up your hands. You are all that matters. Oh. transformation to take place. The Lord is expanding our territories.
before I pray, in connection to that anointing, I want you to remind you something. The Lord has spoken to us that we are produced to produce. It is a process. Mark that word. You are produced to produce. Number two, the Lord has reminded us through his servant, Pastor Derek, he does not give the finished products. He does not give the finished products. In other words, mimi na wewe hatuja kamilika. We must accept that truth. Bwana mwenyewe apeani watu walio kamilika. Kuna msema inasema he calls the disqualified and he qualifies them in the process. Number three, the Lord has spoken to us. That is not much we are here. All of us, we are heavenly materials. That's why the Bible says, God does not, trust, does not feel happy in the death of a sinner. But because we are unheavenly material, we are not yet the product of the kingdom. Jesus said, I will come to take my church. That is when we shall be perfected as the end product of this particular journey. I thank God for the servant of God for reminding us. We are in the process of being made. The Lord has reminded us that sinners, they do behave like fish. They are so slippery. And he has used an illustration that is very powerful. Sometimes we do not want to engage into activity of forming some particular pools of water in the church in order to help the fish, the fish to survive. But one thing we need to do, the same same water can cause pneumonia to the sheep. We have seen in many churches the sinfulness of another person it is causing another person to fail in his salvation. I am in agreement with the man of God. That we are ready. We must be fished. Go through the process of drying. In order for us to receive the power of producing what God is intending to have. Which is the sheep. The importance of the sheep. By Sasani, where were the product? We must be ready to produce it is not the farmer that produces but the one who owns the sheep want to see the profit of the sheep God is looking unto us the Lord is paying attention to every step we make through these teachings that we have received the sheep must be in a position of producing and also he went further to mention some of the things that God is looking after we the believers. Nakatumia illustration ya manadamu wa kawaida ambaya mefuga kondo. One, we must be there to produce our wool to the farmer. Number two, we must be ready to give out meat and even the skin. It reminded me, man of God, where the Bible says you must take your cross and follow Jesus. In other words, there is a place the sheep need to die to produce those things. And he has given us the scripture. And he said, all of us, we must be mature to produce. Produce Production is not for young people. It's not for small people. It's not for the children. But it is for the grown-up people, people that are ready to produce for the kingdom. And for that reason, he defined maturity. There are things you don't need to forget. Maturity is not defined by the age. It is how you apply the word of God. The way you apply the word of God, that is how you will be termed to be mature. Finally, he said, we must be ready. 
We must be ready and don't compromise your production. And this is how you will compromise it. Say it about our lineage. If the lineage of somebody is compromised, the productivity will be compromised. But if our lineage is the lineage of the kingdom, we shall follow Jesus. We shall be productive in his kingdom. Point to note before we pray. Let us work hard to expand the kingdom of God. That's why you can see these people standing in front of you. Let us work hard. That's the final wording of the man of God. Let us work hard to build and to expand the church. That made me man of God to remember the sons of the prophets. The sons of the prophets. He has mentioned something that has really touched us when we were just sitting there with the pastor in Dangasi. Uh, we need to have that particular clue. We must also be ready to expand and have a serious headquarter. Serious headquarter. A place where people can come and pray. A place where people can come and do great ministration because of what we have received today. And also let us work hard to support God's work. Somebody lift up your hands. Na hiyo ndiyo point imefika kasema kwamba kama uko pale na ungependa uweze kusimama katika pengo na unasema kwamba ningependa Mungu ukaweze kunisaidia nataka nianze safari mpya siku ya leo. Ninataka ni kuombe kama uko pale tembea tu kasonge tu hapa mbele nitawaleta wote Pastor Derek pamoja na Pastor Indangasi we want to pray for all of you in the name of Jesus. So kama uko pale na umeamua ndani ya moyo this is a message that is very serious and you better begin to move into productivity. Nataka tuweze kusonga hapa mbele. It is your time. It is your moment. It is your hour. It is your minute. Tembea tu kasonge hapa mbele unapoangalia Mungu anaponena ananena mara moja na anatimiza maandiko yake wale wanakuja god bless you so much it is very important to hear and also hearken unto the word of the lord maana wako hapa these are the people that the lord has sent to us and the lord is ready to speak the way he has spoken to us now we can also complement it in prayer kama unakuja tembea tu pole pole songa tu mbele Tungaji amesema this might be another moment ambayo kuna wale ambao walikuwa wamefungwa wanafunguliwa katika maneno kama haya. Tembea tu kasonge hapa mbele. Katika jina la Yesu. We love you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Oh, Bwana Yesu, uko hapa Bwana Yesu. Tutembea tu kama unakuja. Hapa Bwana Yesu uko hapa Bwana Yesu uko hapa Bwana Yesu uko hapa Support us wa kanisa Support us wa kanisa uko hapa Bwana Yesu uko hapa Bwana Yesu uko hapa Uko na roho ya kusupport kanisa Songa tu mbele songa mbele tu uko hapa Bwana Yesu 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 uko hapa Bwana wa Mungu uko hapa Bwana Yesu uko hapa Bwana Yesu uko hapa Bwana Yesu oh, oh, oh. naimbia Yesu anayenipigania oh, oh, oh. naimbia Yesu anayenipigania oh, 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 oh,
wari bana Yesu wari wari 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 Yesu wari
kuchukuliwa na fasi in the name of the Lord Jesus Shukuru tu mungu mwambie mungu ni asante Wabudiwe siku zote Wabudiwe milele yote Wabudiwe kila wakati Wabudiwe katika safari hii ya uduma Wabudiwe katika kazi ni nayo ifanya Katika jina la Yesu Just open your mouth Ni wakati tu wakushukuru mungu Shukuru tu mungu kwa hiyo nafasi Wabudiwe kwa uponyaji ambao menipatia Wabudiwe kwa hili neno nimepokea la ufunuo Hili neno nikapate mahali ndani yangu Hili neno nikapate mahali katika maisha yako Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Likapate na fasi kwa wa imbaji Likapate na fasi kwa wa imbaji Likapate na fasi kwa viongozi wa kanisa Likapate na fasi hata katika wala mbao Wamekuja leo kama wageni wetu Wakapate kubarikiwa katika jina la Yesu Kristo Asante mofame wafame Unatenda mema katika jina la Yesu We love you Jesus Asante mwana Lord, we thank you for the gift of life. And also, God, we thank you for the word that you've spoken unto us, King of Glory. And we thank you for your people. We thank you, my Father, for the things you've done. And we thank you for the things you're going to do, King of Glory. Because we know today we are going home with a blessing. Thank you, my Father. Because you are healing somebody today. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are lifting somebody today. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are transforming the life of someone today. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are wiping away every tear from our eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are lifting, you are lifting us up. Thank you, Jesus. Because you've done it for us. For the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, someone say amen. amen. Come on, put your hands together, celebrate Jesus in the house. Oh, I, I feel you can do better than that. Put those hands together and celebrate Jesus. Woo! You can have a seat, you can have a seat in the presence of God.